Self-improvement and success go hand in hand. Taking the steps to make yourself a better and more well-rounded individual will prove to be a wise decision. The wise person feels the pain of one arrow. The unwise feels the pain of two. When looking for wise words, the best ones often come from our elders. You've heard that it's wise to learn from experience, but it is wiser to learn from the experience of others. We tend to think of great thinkers and innovators as soloists, but the truth is that the greatest innovative thinking doesn't occur in a vacuum. Innovation results from collaboration. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. But what I've discovered over time is that some of the wisest people I know have also been some of the most broken people. Don't waste your time with explanations, people only hear what they want to hear. To make difficult decisions wisely, it helps to have a systematic process for assessing each choice and its consequences, the potential impact on each aspect of your life. Each of us experiences defeats in life. We can transform defeat into victory if we learn from life's whoopings. Nothing is impossible, the word itself says, I'm possible. Pain can change you, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad change. Take that pain and turn it into wisdom. To be wise, we must seek Jesus, for we will not find wisdom apart from him. What you do and say lives on in the hearts and minds of others, to some degree, with a definite result or consequence. Reading is one of the most important activities, which helps to educate genius and develop creative abilities. Every generation imagines itself to be more intelligent than the one that went before it, and wiser than the one that comes after it. Faith in God includes faith in God's timing. If we manage ego wisely, we get the upside it delivers followed by strong returns. Meditation is about viewing the world with great clarity so you can make wise decisions. It will help you make the appropriate action with regard to things that you have to change. That is ever the difference between the wise and the unwise, the latter wonders at what are unusual, the wise man wonders at the usual. Attitude, to me, is more important than money. It is more important than the future, the past, education, circumstances, failure, success, it is even more important than what other people think or say. Be wiser than other people, if you can, but do not tell them so. For me, a sense of prosperity often comes with less rather than more. Knowledge is the crown of the wise, folly is an inheritance of a fool. The nature of life is such that the fool does not always fail, nor is the wise man always successful. The wise always speak of what, with exactitude, cannot be put into words. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. It is far better to give work that is above a person, than to educate the person to be above their work. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. A clever person solves a problem. A wise person avoids it. The simple things are also the most extraordinary things, and only the wise can see them. Thus, a wise individual is the one who learns to see positive even in unfavorable events and unanticipated behavior of people. A wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. Big picture thinkers are comfortable with ambiguity. 
They don't try to force every observation or piece of data into preformulated mental cubby holes. A significant part of showing respect is simply listening. We offer our presence and open ears, listening to the hidden hurts and heartaches, the deepest dreams and desires of one another. People who are generous are constantly giving things away, courage, money, introductions, whatever is needed. Look around today and see what you have in abundance that others might be lacking. A word from the wise, from those who have had experience in life, is far more valuable than many realize. If we are wise we will take it and make use of it, thus saving ourselves much time and grief. Which way you choose to see your life in the future depends on your attitude today. When you are in conversation with other people, choose your words wisely. Your words have great power and you should be aware of this. The wise lack for nothing. The foolish, meanwhile, cannot make good use of anything. While it is impossible to forget the past, it is necessary that we leave the past where it was. We are not the same people that we was then. Never seem wiser, nor more learned, than the people you are with. Wear your learning, like your watch, in a private pocket, and do not merely pull it out and strike it, merely to show that you have won. You are a citizen of the world, and when you stop the labeling process you will begin to see God in every garden, every forest, every home, every creature, and every person, and inner peace will be your reward. Remember that the habits you are trying to alter developed for a reason. If you continue to drift back into them, take some time to examine the circumstances. Sometimes, arguments end simply by accepting that you don't agree with the other party. Instead of trying to sway the other person to agree with you, you just have to accept your differences. In simple manners, all the secret lies. Be kind and virtuous, you'll be blessed and wise. Just because you are given free will to expose yourself, it is not acceptable to step on someone else's reputation, brag about what you achieved and slash or speak sarcastically toward others. Life often teaches us through our wrong turns and missed possibilities. A man is not called wise because he talks and talks again, but if he is peaceful, loving and fearless then he is in truth called wise. While planning for the future is a worthy endeavor, you have to also enjoy the moment and cultivate the of deciding when to toggle between present and future from the experiences of the past. By the way, you want to live your life in such a way that the friends you turn to know that you would do the same for them, if the situation were reversed. The greatest chapters in history always begin with risk, and the same is true with the chapters of your life. A man doesn't begin to attain wisdom until he recognizes he is no longer indispensable. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. A good friend is precious, even more precious is a wise good friend. We shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. The wise ones fashion speech with their thought, Sifting it as grain is sifted through a sieve. Life is like the ocean, it goes up and down. Trust the path, trust yourself, and ultimately follow your inner voice over the chatter of external rationalizings. The rule of reflection states that the river you perceive is a reflection of who you are.